Hi everyone and welcome to One Six Figure Focus and in this video we're going to take a look at the Hot Toys Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Let's get started. So this is the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man aka Tobey Maguire Spider-Man from Spider-Man No Way Home. It's the deluxe version special edition. A uh, six scale figure by Hot Toys and based in the likeness of Tommy Wire's Spider-Man and his suit from Spider-Man No Way Home. So we all knew this was coming. They obviously months ago had the integrated suit from the, that shared screen time with this particular Spider-Man. Then they announced the Andrew and now finally we have the Toby. Now this is the deluxe version. There's a deluxe and there's a regular but for some reason on Sideshow the regular version is not listed yet. The deluxe special comes with a Doc Ock... Um, that little tentacle thing there if you order before this. Personally, I don't have any interest in this and I also don't have any interest in the base. Not the biggest Sandman fan and uh, yeah, I could just do it out the base because I know how I'm going to display these base list. So, it's $445 and it, it's basically shipping next year, sometimes between October 2023 and March 2024. So you have, yeah, it's the deluxe version, fine. Let's take a look at everything that comes with it. So, the deluxe version comes with this Sandman base. Uh, I think it actually looks pretty cool. Well, the, the face actually looks a bit goofy, to be honest. Uh, it's not for me, but then again, I'm not the biggest Sandman fan. And also, I just would rather save the money and get the Spider-Man, because I'm going to display the three of them probably in the middle detail, second from the top, and prime real estate there, the three. Um, I'm going gonna to swap it out. Sometimes they're going to be doing the meme pose with the masks on. Sometimes they're going to be doing the meme pose poses uh, showing the head sculpts because the head sculpts look great and they'll be holding the mask and other times they might be doing like swinging or the, the kind of famous kind of uh, landing poses that they do from that iconic now iconic scene from Spider-Man Far From Home but this here I think a lot of people are happy with this I've heard mixed opinions some people want the actual figures I know that there's third party there that don't look great um, some people were kind of disappointed they didn't get actually the full lizard or the full Sandman that's fair enough I can see that point of view other people were kind of going well look this is a, how, how would they actually do them correctly so the bases um, are a good way of including them all and basically we've got all the villains now we've got some version so we have a version of the lizard which is a base we have a version of sandman whether people are like it or not they've done something instead of doing nothing um might not be the exact ones that people want for me it's fine i'm just kind of watching this with the popcorn because i don't really care like because i wasn't going to get them no matter what version they were going to release anyway i'm happy with this in the sense that i don't have to shell out an extra hundred dollars when i just want the the toby mcguire spider-man with the head sculpt and the suit and i don't need this so they give me the option and the same with the lizard the lizard was based separately so i can get the integrated suit without the diorama base and save $140 because I think the difference between the integrated suit regular version and integrated suit deluxe with the um, base is about $140. This I can't remember the exact price. I think the base here is about $100. Add, it adds on to the cost. So this is $445. I think the regular is on its own is around $330, $345, something for that, which is kind of pricey enough. But look, that's that's why I was surprised about Vader. The deluxe version is $330 and it comes with all the swap out parts. Whereas the n regular version of this is, you know, about $330, $340, you know, so it's a bit strange. So what else does it come with besides the base, this deluxe version? If you order within that time frame, you get the Doc Ock Tentacle, the head scope, which we're going to talk about because I think it looks fantastic. You've got this uh, device you use to cure Sandman. And of course you have the suit based on, you know, the Tobey Maguire or Raimi-verse uh, Spider-Man, which actually looks fantastic. You've got the mask because it's not nanotech, it's just material. Loads of swap out hands and the usual webs that you'd expect with a Spidey figure. Let's take a look at some of these photos. First impressions are that the suit looks great. Um, I want to get one that kind of zooms in a bit more so we can really appreciate this. The proportions look great. We can see the head sculpt there. I would pose it like this because it just kind of shows off the fantastic head sculpt. Uh, it's a fairly neutral character pose, but I really like posing Spider-Man holding the mask for those material suits. That's Tobey Maguire any day of the week. They might have been a bit kind to him because he's a bit fresh. Like, I, I actually thought he looked well in the movie, like, as in, you know, he's not a young man. He's not old, old either. Just thought he looked like a regular guy. He kind of, um, like, looked after himself. He looked, looked fine. Like, he's not carrying any weight or anything like that. He was just... A regular guy of whatever age he is, maybe he's, I imagine he's in his 40s, is he? But they've kind of been kind to him here. He looks very, very fresh here, uh, but it's definitely like him. They've nailed the likeness. I think it's a very strong head sculpt. I, th I think this is a nine. I think it's it's just really, really good. Maybe if they give him a small bit, few wrinkles and stuff, it might have made him a ten. But if you zoom in, you can see more details. A little stubble on the 
on, on his kind of just under his nose on its on its top lip there on the above above his top lip um i think slight bits of stubble here and kind of texture in the face and there's a few lines as well along the eyes and stuff um yeah it just it just looks like a fantastic head sculpt and the suit and proportions look good and i like the way they have this little collar around his neck as well because the integrated suit toby Maguire, or sorry tom holland the the kind of neck piece the material goes all the way up right underneath its chin which of course is inaccurate because it doesn't look like that when he takes off his mask whereas this and andrew have this hopefully when they release that integrated suit they'll fix it and just put this similar style of neck on the tom holland one and they need pointing fingers i'm not sure i don't think he comes with the pointing fingers because i think this guy comes with the the pointing fingers for the meme and so does um, andrew but i don't think um i don't think uh the integrated suit tom holland one does Anyway, this, yeah, this head scope's a home run. It just looks so good. Suit looks great as well. I love those dark blues and the bright, vibrant red and the kind of almost, it's hard. And in the light, these webbing, they look silver. It looks cool. Like, I, I don't know what color they are because I think it's the light bouncing off of from the, the lighting they use or the flash. It probably wouldn't be a flash, but I'm not sure, but it just looks really silvery. I don't. I think maybe they're just silver lines. I don't think they're white lines. I think they're kind of grey lines, but it just looks really nice and catches the light. Sometimes it's a bit silver, sometimes it's a bit grey or whitish. Yeah, look. Look at the amount of texture going on here. The red, if you look at the red itself, just actually look at the red material. You can see it kind of it's almost like a honeycomb pattern there. And then you have the, the webbing itself, which is textured. If you run your finger along that, there's, you're going to be able to feel that texture. So it's kind of like... Yeah, it looks like a it looks like a space metal, a, sp a space grey kind of a, a color, and then when it's catching the light, it's almost metallic. It, it's a unique kind of a color there. Then of course you got even on the lens themselves, you got some texture, and of course the the um, the spider here looks really good. A lot of effort gone into this. I just I would always admire the um, whether it's the sculptors, the painters, the you know the tailoring uh, experts. It's just or the engineering that goes into these and the art that goes into these. Just super stuff, like I'm blown away by the skills and talents of these people. Yeah, so look, this is a done deal. I'm getting this too. Uh, again, I haven't ordered it, and still pricing around. There's no rush because these days nothing really sells out, everything sits. But you never know, the kind of market can change. And over time, maybe, who knows, maybe Hot Toys see their products being sold really cheap and they're like, okay, we are oversupplying, a lot of our stock is sitting, blah, blah, blah. And they say, right, we're going to produce less now and uh, the prices will increase again. And maybe you go back to those days where you might have to pre-order, you might have to dopo, but um, these things are cyclical. Like the stock markets are cyc cyclical. Um, the, um, you know, you know, property market is cyclical. So I'd imagine this market in some ways is cyclical as well. But right now there's deals to be had. There's no need to really pre-order or look, if you're watching now, you make up your own decision. Take in all the information from different YouTubers, uh, do your own you know, research on the different sites, make up your own mind what works for you. But uh, my own opinion there, I'm not really pre-ordering anything uh, these days, but I'm kind of going to have to, because if I don't pre-order everything and a bunch of these things arrive at the same time and I haven't even put a deposit on from, then I'm going to get stung. So a few of these expensive pieces, I do have to start thinking about putting them on a payment plan. Maybe not immediately, but maybe things that were announced six months ago. So yeah, look, this is another pickup for me. I'm going to commit to getting this, the integrated suit and the Andrew Garfield. Um, the regular versions of them all, I don't need the bases. Um, anyway, if you want to support the channel, like the video. Subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know what you think of the, uh, the balloons. So one second, I'll move. So uh, yeah, I came downstairs yesterday and the girlfriend uh, had put uh, a thousand... Got, she, she got the balloons and I walked into the sitting room and saw a thousand there because I hit a thousand subs yesterday. I thought it was hilarious. I got a good kick out of it. Really supportive as well and really, really nice. All right, folks, uh, that's the end of the video. If you want to support the channel, like the video, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think of the balloons. Uh, yeah, you can also follow me on Instagram and follow me on Twitter. That's it. See you in the next one. Good luck. <laughs>